Miss Grooms? Here. Miss Gay? Miss Duff? Here. Miss Bond? Here. Miss Harlow? <laughs> <laughs> I know usually I'm over there, but um, just a quick update. Uh, it's starting to become tree city time. Uh, so Brent and I are going to be working on getting the information ready for the tree city USA status uh, for 2024, right? It covers 2024, 2025 or which can't remember which one it is. Hold on. Right, yeah, 2024. I, I always get mixed up, but yeah, 2024. So um, we will begin all the minutes, uh, the urban forestry report and the uh, um, Arbor Day proclamation that the mayor signed back in April. Uh, that, that's the information that we need and we apply for that. And hopefully we're here by the end of the year. So we'll make sure to get that all uh, situated and everything. Uh, looking at some of the numbers, uh, we've been we've been on it for 13 years. Uh, we had kind of a break in 2022. Obviously, there's some staff shortages and stuff like that. Um, but the longest, kind of a cool fact, the longest running active Tree City USA community in Ohio was uh, Westerville for 48 years. They've been Tree City USA. So uh, it's, that is pretty amazing. The largest is Columbus, and the smallest population is Putin Bay. So, oh. Yeah, so they're a Tree City USA as well. So I uh, just want to let you know that we are in the process of getting that all situated and everything. And I know we've talked about planting of trees and stuff. Uh, Brent and his department, they had a great uh, open house and steering committee for the Master Parks plan. Uh, where we got a chance to talk with Brandsetter Carroll about incorporating trees into the parks and everything uh, and making sure that we keep that park uh, atmosphere and everything uh, with this whole park uh, renovation essentially. So uh, we'll be working with them a lot to make sure that we get, uh, you know, we have new trees put in and possibly we can look at a whole memorial idea of people in the past of Moraine that have passed away and made a difference in the city, they could have like a dedicated tree area. So that's something I, I was thinking of doing going forward with it. Um, and then another thing uh, on the agenda you probably saw was about screening. So um, that's kind of a little bit of my job, uh, privacy and screening with the use of shrubs and trees and the types that you can use. Uh, so in planning, building and zoning, uh, as you know, uh, Privacy with landscaping is important. Uh, you look at new businesses, and we have a couple that are opening up, require that they have a certain amount of trees per footage. So for instance, they have to have 50 feet. Uh, for every 50 feet of a open parking lot, you do have to have a tree, and then uh, at least a two foot shrub going along with it. And that tree has, had to, has to have a 15 foot crown once it's matured. So. Um, those are sort of things I work with, uh, and we, we try to ensure that. Uh, you probably saw uh, just on a planning side note and related trees, uh, the old K&H motors that used to be on Springboro West, where it bends around the road, they tore down that building and everything. Uh, there is a gas station going in there. Uh, I'm, I believe it's an Arco gas station, but they are going to be putting trees respectively around that building and proper uh, fielding as well. So they're doing a great example. And it's actually gonna be a very nice looking uh, feeling and convenient station. So we're looking forward to having them be in that position and everything. Uh, and there's a couple of other businesses that are in the works as well that will be following that same procedure as well. Um, but other than that, I do not have anything further unless you have any questions regarding uh, privacy of screening, Tree City USA, or anything like that. Did the drought do anything to any of the trees that we had around here? 
to my knowledge, no. Uh, so far, a lot of the trees that are city-owned trees have been, uh, they've been, they've been fine so okay. far this year, especially on Dorothy Lane. Those are my favorite trees, when you, especially when they bloom and they turn white. Um, those are very pretty. Uh, a lot of those have been uh, very protective, and I know we had a lot of construction work going on back in the uh, asphalt plant where Barrett's located at, and uh, we actually made sure they put in a retention pond with, with all new trees and landscaping, and they're still in the process of that as well. So that's another example of a business that we're working with to add that. But uh, in, terms, in terms of drought, it did not do anything on the trees at least in the parks to my knowledge so yeah yep so were you really <laughs> you did a great you job did good, with it good job yep it's a beautiful drive on dorothy lane with the businesses and stuff helps you you know more of a homey feel. Oh. All righty. Well, I do not have anything further. Uh, just said we have a meeting on December 17th following the Parks and Rec uh, meeting as well. Thank you.